bunch of new trailers showed up this weekend. Week. Oh, boy. Yeah. Bunch of trailers for stuff I want to see. I mean, Wreck-It Ralph 2 trailer. Woo. There's the uh, Lego Movie 2 trailer. That one looks good. Yeah. The Bumblebee trailer, which i am got hope again. <laughs> I got hope again for Transformers because it's not Michael Bay. It's Travis Knight who did uh, Kubo and the Two Strings. And it actually looks heartwarming and the convention and the designs and everything great. And then, of course, yep. there's also How to Train Your Dragon 3. Yeah. Franchise I'm not super into, but I enjoy. Yeah. Oh, so, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's four trailers for movies I really am kind of looking forward to, and I want to see them all. Plus, Incredibles 2 coming out next week. Yep. And that's the E3's kind of sort of starting now. Kind of, sort of. <laughs> with EA, and you know, yeah, it's EA. So, it's EA. Yeah. Some interesting stuff, but not a lot. Uh, yeah. That's the stuff that's happening. Yep. We're very excited for things. Yeah. That's not pony. That aren't pony. But anyway, we're here for ponies, though. Yes. Yeah, so uh, we'll just go ahead and get started with that. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Pony 4 and 1. This is 226 for the week of June 10th, 2018. I am Nemesis, and I'm joined as always by Alcatraz. A. Yep. A new episode, because, well, there's a new Pony episode, because that's what keeps happening. Of course, it's the final one for the first half of the season 8. <laughs> no word salad there. Ha! Ha! <laughs> right. We do have a tiny bit of news. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I don't know if we've had less before. Uh, and there was, I think, one week. Well, uh, not counting like convention weeks where we skip news. The first podcast we had two things of news. <laughs> oh wow, <laughs> things were different then. Things were very different then. But um, yeah. So we got a little bit of news. Of course, we got that aforementioned uh, episode to c- talk about, and we have some fan fix at the end of the show as well. Yes. So it's going to be a short episode, I think. Yeah, unless we go into really into this episode, we'll see what happens. We'll see there. what happens in the episode. Yeah, but uh, hmm, lots of episode. Anyway, uh, should we probably go ahead and get started? So if you want to follow along and go, you know, the little news there is, go to pony four one one dot libsyn dot com slash show notes. It's spelled L I B S Y N, and all the links for um, further details, if there are any, will be there. So to get started with our lone piece of convention news. High Roller Pony Con is coming back in 2019. Apparently, they're quite successful, so that that curse is broken. Yay! Yes, Unicon and lift ha- curse has been lifted. I think they said they had 491 guests. Yep, something like that. Somewhere in the 400s. Hmm. So successful. They're coming Yay. back. We'll see. Don't we'll know see when. how that goes. <laughs> Probably around the t- same time next year. Probably. That's what mm-hmm. I would assume. And in merchandise news, new Kitty Mark Crew promo images have appeared, which I guess have little bits about the. Uh, figure sort of except food stuff it's all about food for and some muffins. reason that's well, food i know <laughs> so yeah it's food theme for reasons i guess so if you want to see that yeah yeah that's the thing i guess it fits with the happy meal stuff although these are not all ha- not has... happy meal i know, I know but I, I it kind of fits though like dash has sushi sushi is meat <laughs> also well, Sun says to quest your girls, so you can have a pepperoni on that pizza. And Spike has a hot dog. Again with the meat. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes, that uncomfortable <laughs> topic. <laughs> yes. Anyway, uh, moving on. Uh, quest your girls. Uh, Turf War short is up on YouTube. And yes, that means that I lied last week when I said the last one was the final beach thing. Someone else lied to me. <laughs> so, uh, sorry. You lied to me. <laughs> So I pro- propagated the lie. Anyways, this is, this is the one Applejack and Timber. Maybe that's why you, f- you didn't want to talk about it. You you purged it from your memory. I don't know. I just forgot all the thing. I mean, I watched, we all, watched all of them like months ago. So it's <laughs> I forgot how many there were. Anything with Timber in it. You just, nope, that didn't happen. <laughs> Same with Flash. So, uh, yeah, moving on to the final piece of news. Yes, like We're I said, very, there. very short. We're, 
yeah, not a lot. It's only four things yeah. of news. So, French's Magic stuff. Ashley Ball, Emily Blunt, and Tara Strong are up for the best female vocal performance in a feature film for the roles in the MLP movie from the Behind the Voice Actors. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's a tough one to pick. Mm-hmm. Thing is, well, yeah. Uh, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> it'd have to be coming down between Emily and Tara for me. I don't know. <laughs> it's a tough one. <laughs> I mean, the other, let's see, the other VAs up are Rosario Dawson for Batgirl in a Lego Batman movie and Sarah Chaudhry as Parvana in The Breadwinner, which I've never seen. Which I haven't seen. But Rosario Dawson did do a good job in uh, Lego Batman, I know that. Yeah. Well, they probably all did a good job. That's why they're up for nomination. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not necessarily. Remember, some awards can be bought. <laughs> yes. There is a thing. So... That's the news. That's it. That's all of it. Yeah, that's There's all no it. more news. What is with that? Well, there is some news, but not really stuff we really care about or think is relevant. Yeah. That's all the relevant news. And so we're going to go ahead and move on to the mid-season finale, which is The Mean Six. So there's a quick synopsis. Let's see. The main six plus Starlight are going on a little friendship retreat, and there's a photographer there. She messes with them, and it turns out the photographer is Chrysalis, who's out for revenge. She's going to use that the pho- photography, uh, photos and the hair she stole from each of them to uh, make weird pseudo clones of the main six to, well, get the elements of harmony so she could get revenge on them and Starlight. Oh, no. So anyway, they all go, all, everyone goes out in the woods and, well, shenanigans happen they keep missing each other and keep confusing each other the clones and the real ones with each other and all that stuff and feelings are hurt uh, then yeah the, they get to the campsite and then the, the clones get to the tree and get all melty and chrysalis runs away and everyone i guess at last the end yes <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing about this episode this episode was like was fun but it didn't live up to its potential <laughs> it was fun but but yeah, really sums it up. <laughs> I have, yeah, <laughs> uh, one primary thing that's just incredibly frustrating t- for me on the entire thing is just the ending, <laughs> just that cliffhanger, yeah, sort of ending. It's just. Ah! Did Chrysalis <laughs> manage to steal the elements? I don't know. Did she? Because we she found them. She found them, but then we just see her flying off in the distance. Did she steal them, or are they still there? Did she is like yes, I know where they are now, and now that I'm now I'm gonna come back, or did she actually get them out? We don't know. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Also, they like, flash black when the uh... yes, the fake tree of main six is. Uh, smarter than that yeah yeah i grabbed them too just like nope. yeah tentacles and then just sucked the life out of them yeah they and got all melty really creepy it's yeah. like that'll give kids nightmares it was worse in the leaked version oh so it's that's the toned down version oh geez i have to double check but uh yeah because like, people i saw people talking about that like something like, some people said they made some pretty big different there's big big change between the leak and the final version oh geez I would not want to know what the the original was then. If that if yeah. the final was that, I have to double check that. Like, but uh, yeah, so that's no. a, that's the thing. Um, yeah. So this episode had a lot of like funny bits in it. That's for sure. Um, between oh, I yes. guess the crystal beginning with the crystal is just um in her disguise. Yeah, me- like just taking the photos and just not really caring because just she just needs a photo. It doesn't she need, need to be good. a photo. It doesn't need to be a good photo. <laughs> it's still just photo, photo, photo. Just uh. Stealing the hairs, yeah, stealing Not the hair hairs and getting photos, and and then sorry, I'm like, it's just like, okay, did she go beat up a, a photographer to get their camera I and guess. take their form? Because that would make sense. Yeah, <laughs> Chrysalis is going kind of insane. Yeah, I suspect that was the intention because she's been all, she's usually surrounded by thousands of drones, and now it's all by herself out in the oh, middle of nowhere. Bye. Yeah. So it would not surprise me that she did kind of go a little crazy. She's a little not right in the head. Because yeah, she before she even and yeah, monologue before she trees. even started, yeah, before she turned the trees into the mean six, uh, yeah, she was talking to them as if they're asking questions and stuff. Yes, <laughs> the voice is in her head. <laughs> yep. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, as far as the rest of this goes, like you said, it it was a really fun episode. 
it had a lot of it had callbacks obviously but it was more than just callbacks to the earlier episodes it it felt a lot like some of the earlier episodes uh there was like i said with the callbacks there was a lot of callbacks to um the return of harmony mm-hmm. was it Re- return of harmony yeah with discord and when yeah i mean the mean six are blatantly the discord versions the discorded versions with m- muted colors and everything yeah even the same sort of antics how they're like yeah. inverted of their elements yeah which it's, is odd in of itself. It is a bit odd, considering the entire just, point was to get the elements. I think I guess it's because dark magic. Yeah, and Chrysalis is not exactly intelligent when it comes to stuff like that. I don't know. She figured out a spell to do that, and it looked pretty cool. I mean, she it, had the, the spell was really arcane. Cool. Yeah, the arcane circle and everything. Yeah. It was it was the animation on that was great. Yeah, it, it it felt a lot like your earlier episodes uh, in a way, in in a good way. I really enjoyed that we saw a lot more of the main six all interacting with each other. Yeah, which has been something we've been kind of missing. It's all been you know them going off with other things and doing their things here and there, which is fine. But mm-hmm. kind of missed that 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 friendship circle, that the interaction between the core group with Starlight now. Yeah, but mm-hmm. we got that back, and we got again got you know them fighting amongst themselves, and a little bit harkened back to that. But they also were able to resolve it just by themselves because they've learned their lessons. Yeah, although it's kind of weird because they're all apologizing for things which sometimes aren't all actually their fault. <laughs> yes, and that is something they <laughs> kept. Sorry. They kept running across their the mean versions of themselves, but they their didn't realize clones. it. But they did it in a way where a lot of times you see this trope done in yep. some other places. It's like super obvious, and it's like. You should easily know that you're you're running into someone that, that there's something wrong here, but this one is was done in a very reasonable way. It's it's understandable that they would not know. Yeah, the only differences are subtle. They may not have noticed that, but they never yeah. the timings that they ran across each other weren't so much that you know it would be super obvious. And yeah. the times where it was kind of close, they pointed that out. Like yeah, when like, what's up with you? Just over, but then yeah, what's up with you? Yeah. It was all just kind of subtle, something's not quite right, but not enough for them to go, hey, wait. Yeah. They did it in a really reasonable way, where a lot of the times they hit the trap, they don't. Randy's the only one who kinda... seemed to know his visual appearance, though. Yeah. Yeah, it is a little bit odd. Like, you didn't notice that fact that the colors were all wrong? Like, Applejack had green apples? Yeah, that's odd. Or cutie mark? That's an odd thing in of itself. Which looks like the Pear Jack stuff that I've seen. Oh no! It's like Pear Jack. Oh, uh, Pear Jack was great. It's yeah, just wandering around the woods. Yep, wandering around the woods. Well, they're just they're going to the Tree of Harmony. I know, but it's just just you think of this stuff in my childhood, just woods behind the house and going back in there, and yep. wandering out there for hours. Uh, my brother and I had a whole chunk of forest behind our house. We built forts and things all throughout it. It was great. Yeah, I just kind of, it's an odd thing just because, like, because of this, like, with Fluttershy in particular, like, oh, wow, the animals oh, all hated wow. her because of the mean version. Yep. And she's like, oh, and just, and just collapsed and crying. It's... Well, yeah, with Fluttershy's personality and all yeah. of that, it's just, she doesn't know what's going on. It's heartbreaking, and also, too. Yeah, yeah. It's heartbreaking and confusing and highly stressful. I would, yeah, of course she would break down like that. Yeah, it's oddly enough, like, um, Dash was like barely affected. Dash was barely affected. <laughs> they never really ran across her. They did alternate they briefly, sort of, but, but like, only like kind of in passing. And she's just the mean because the mean version, version just, just doesn't lazy. care. Yeah, just doesn't care about anything. It's like whatever. See you. Yeah. <laughs> I did like the the mean version. Pinky just like, bored, bored, bored. <laughs> just, all, bored. just on the ground, just. It reminds me of the bald, bald. Yeah, I'm just. <laughs> oh, it reminds me uh, just of just well, that one. Well, it's the episode with Rumble back last season. Oh, all the kids, them just lying on the grass and stuff. <laughs> yeah, the same sort of thing. Was that Marks for Rec? No, Mar- no. Wait, yeah, that was like Marks and Recreation. Yeah, Marks and Recreation. Marks and Recreation. Yeah, that one. Uh, what I really did like what um that the mean twi- the evil Twilight there. Uh, oh yes. Usurper right off the bat, just immediately plotting to just you know take out Chrysalis as well. Although interesting, the mean Twilight is not the same as the rest of them. Where the rest of them were basically their discorded versions that we saw in, in the beginning of season two. Pretty much 
exactly that personality. Twilight's was different. Well, that's because we got one because way we back when saw Twilight. Right, but Return of Harmony just courted Twilight. We saw it for like ten seconds. Yeah, but she, she was just forlorn. Well, in that one, she was just depressed and forlorn. Not necessarily. I remember she, she was back. a little mad too. I remember that. She yeah, was but she a was a little power mad. hungry. Well, this that's the this thing one's we never power hungry. We never really saw. Well, that was before. That was also before Twilight was an Alicorn and everything. Who that, yeah. that, that changes things up a lot. So yeah, it's but one again, of those it's things. Still, she, this one is a slightly new personality for. for it's because we didn't really. All that yeah. was is just oh, Twilight's got a broken heart now, and so it didn't really have that. There was really we didn't have spend a lot of time with Discord of Twilight, so we don't really have real good bearing on that we just had the immediate reaction rather than this more extended thing where it's like okay what would twilight be like <laughs> but it's like oh yep immediate just kind of a like yep i'm gonna overthrow chrysalis and do things my way just immediate evil plots right off the bat yeah. uh, like it, it reminds cool. me of um Rhinox in uh, Beast Wars, that one episode where Big Shot. Let's turn this, Transformers. Yeah, let's turn the this one, the smart one, evil. Oh, whoops, that blew up in my face. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that you showed that one. Yeah, <laughs> we saw the whole series. Yes. Yeah, it's a, just remember, never ever make an evil clone of the smart one. It will blow up in your face very quickly. Yes, I do like that. We definitely got to see Twilight's Narkel again. Yeah, even if it was evil. <laughs> yeah. It's always one of those things like, what would an evil Twilight look like? There you go. Well, there you go. <laughs> Already plotting. Power hungry. Mm -hmm. Which is the opposite because yeah. Twilight is very much. Because that's not. one of those things. What is the opposite of magic? Uh, mundanity? <laughs> yeah, it would be <laughs> Earth Pony. I mean, <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's Applejack. Why is she acting like Applejack? Oh, <laughs> 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 Also did like yeah, just she's also willing to straight up talk back to Chrysalis. The others are afraid yep. of Chrysalis. She's just like What you gonna do? You, you need, need me. <laughs> Chrysalis, of course, just getting increasingly frustrating, like rethinking maybe this wasn't a good idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trying to wrangle them all together. Of course the thing it's like yeah, I guess his whole thing was like, yeah, I need the elements I need evil clones the elements so I could use them, but then yeah, there's that whole thing of did she take them or and that's yeah we don't. It's such a weird know. thing. We see her flying off into the moon set. Moon, yeah, <laughs> the moon. Yeah, <laughs> and did she take them or not? Because they made sure to leave that out of frame for that final shot, the the tree itself. Yeah, so we don't know. We know that the tree defended itself. Yeah, it's like nope. It was, it was a little bit weird. I didn't expect that to happen. I thought something else was going to happen, especially when the, the elements were flashing black. Yeah. And this is teasing for the se se season finale. It yeah, might I don't be know. teasing for it, but. It's quite the weird. cliffhanger to leave yeah. to start our mid season hiatus on. Especially something that might not be resolved until uh... the season finale, which will be a few months from now. Well, at least we got a little ways for you know fan content to be made. <laughs> Get to it. Yeah. Well, I guess we got a little... Uh, Rarity finally trying and failing to uh, pack just a little tiny saddlebag yep. for her stuff. It's like, no, I can't do this I anymore. I can't do this. I need my stuff. <laughs> uh, uh, it's like, also, selfish Rarity just selfish. losing her mind. It's mine! It's all, and this, the, she made the best faces. It's, it's an, oh, uh, hands yeah. down, best faces of Rarity. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Rarity, Rarity won that one easy. Who's down? Also, the, the, the chrysalis did have to develop an eye twitch. <laughs> yeah. And Applejack's lie is just getting... Just, it's getting bigger and bigger. This girl named Jerome. Jerome. <laughs> There's a the password, the password is Rutabaga. <laughs> the party password is Rutabaga. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. It's, it's, it's not an episode in that... Yeah, it was, it's fun to watch, but it's kind of got some oddities about it. Don't. It's another one of those. The only real big thing that bugs me is just the ending. Yeah, I, you don't I enjoy you're not, the rest of it. Yeah, I think this is kind of this weird thing of like, your your plan was to clone the elements and then wander around in the woods for who knows how long trying to find the stupid tree. Yeah, well, her plan was to to clone the elements because she needed them to get the elements. Maybe I guess because you know they're the bearers. And you need the bearers for the elements. I don't think she expected the elements to absorb the clones like that. I don't that. think it absorbed them. I think it just <laughs> or, off them. 
or something like that. Because yeah, they I don't turned, know. just turned back into the wood they were born out of. Yeah, interesting. They had the same color. Yeah, the coloration was. They still, still had changed. the same color as as the. Well, that was uh, interesting. Yeah, the clone Twilight also was a. Uh, that reminds me, the clone Twilight was able to still do magic and stuff. I was wondering about that. It's like it's a clone made from wood. Are they still able to? Uh, yeah, apparently and yes. And was able to also, stand up against Chrysalis. Yeah. <laughs> How's Although it feel who knows like... how actually powerful Chrysalis is this long. By Love herself. starved and stuff too. And she just, who knows, she might have been hopping around sucking love out of things. Yeah, but she doesn't have, like, a massive abundant supply like she did in It's like, how does it feel to be on the receiving end of that? How does it feel to be on the receiving end? Oh, yes. Didn't quite get the same one. It got (laughs) ended early. And she's talking about, oh, that's the thing was Crystal. Oh, yeah, the other thing was because the Ellis Crystal's wanted the elements so that she could take over Equestria so that now she can build a new hive filled with um, unicorns, pegasi, and earth ponies and stuff as her drones. Yes. Which is a bit interesting. And it's like, huh. Well, it's like, okay, well, I guess she's like, screw those guys. <laughs> build a, a hive of I'll build my own lines. hive with blackjack Jack. and hookers. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know what? Forget the hive. <laughs> <sighs> I think Chrysalis is just getting a bit desperate. <laughs> well, I did like that one thing where one of the first lines is uh, between Chrysalis and Twy. Oh, because you need friends. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there were like, some really good lines. A Fluttersh, I did the. <laughs> Why can't we all just get along? <laughs> Crying. Yeah. Oh, no, I mean, also, in the beginning, I'm mean, um, Flut. Crystal is messing with Fluttershy's hair, briefly turned into Pinky's hair. It's like, yeah, ah, briefly. Uh, I get it. Voice actor joke. Also, are we going to talk about the butt picture? Oh, yeah. Ash's butt picture. <laughs> Crystal took a picture of Ash's butt. Well, that's fuel for things. Oh, it already has been. Ever since the animatic. Yeah. That's a thing. Oh, no. I think I think Underpables is, is probably my favorite. It's, it's based off that one... Um, meme with Wolverine holding the picture frame. Oh, yep. <laughs> but it's it's Chrysalis holding a picture frame and it's Dash's butt. <laughs> of course it is. I I really did enjoy this episode. Yeah, it's a fun a episode. And just... The ending is frustrating in that it's a cliffhanger. I think... Not that it's like written badly or anything. It's just a cliffhanger yeah. that's just so I think for me, my, my problem with it is just simply it doesn't feel like it lives up to the potential it could have yeah. had with by bringing Chrysalis back. It feels like it could have been bigger. Yeah, and it felt like it, it was wanted just, to... It, it was essentially, well, if you want to really sum it up, it's like two groups of people wandering around in the woods barely missing each other. Yeah. It feels like it's a setup first half to a two-parter it that we don't have exist. a two-parter for. <laughs> Of the second half, which is why that ending with that cliffhanger style ending is just so frustrating. Yeah, so it, it's it's very strange because uh, yeah, I feel like it could have been more than it was, and it probably will be like if they tie it in with like the season if. finale or, the or later on. It, yeah, but it's yeah, that's I guess the frust- another part of the frustrating bit is just, just will this big actually if. go anywhere? <laughs> we don't know. If this was like a two part episode, we would know, honestly. But I we wish don't. I wouldn't mind if like Crystal's kept. Popping back up frequently, just kind of as this pathetic villain who doesn't really do anything. Yeah, but now that we have this, if yeah. she has the elements, that's huge. Yeah, that's the thing. Are we going to get plunder vines again? Oh, no. Because that's what happened. The elements away from the tree for two. Oh, well, it took a while. Yeah. It the... took a while for the for the tree to lose magic. Yeah. And let the plunder vines. So we'd have, a, we'd have... Yeah. Well, the tree might not be fully recharged. I don't know. It's only had its its elements back for a little while. Might well, not take the, as long. The plunder vines were also planted, and now they're gone. So, were they actually gone, or did they just I push think, them back? I think the implication they were planted is planted in the edge of Ponyville. I know, <laughs> but I think they're implied. The implication was they were wiped out, so I don't think we're gonna have to worry about those again. Yeah, and the pillars did pull the elements out for a little bit. They put them back, apparently. Yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. The other thing is, it was it was nice. This episode gets away from, the, it even says it gets away from the school stuff. It gets yeah. back to, hey, look, the main six. Um, yes. Remember them? Yes. <laughs> Just the main the characters six. that we've uh, been wanting to see for a long time. Yeah, doing their thing, not not being teachers, not having to deal with other another group of six characters, or yet another group of six <laughs> characters. Here they are. What plus this one? But yeah. Main six plus one. Plus that one. But 
it's nice seeing that. It's nice seeing them play off each other and, you know, it's kind of even not totally... The other thing is they're friends, but yeah, they don't always get along. That's they, that's always been a thing, and that, I like that, that they still do that. Like, yeah, yeah. Even even without the clones, they're still kind of getting a little in at each other, which is part of why I said it felt like an earlier season yeah. where that was they were still establishing all of that when well, they're even, dealing with that. I still like some of the later episodes. I think as recently as season four and five, they're still kind of yeah. Well, even re- last season, I think, um, kind of well, getting annoyed like with each other. Pony point of view. Yeah, get, still get annoyed with each other and stuff. I don't like that because it's part of friendship. Sometimes you're just going to want yeah. to punch your friend in the face. <laughs> <laughs> that that was one of the, the core aspects about the show when we first started watching that drew us all in was that it established that kind of personalities and, and characterizations where this happens. And it's not just like it's all sunshine and rainbows all the time. But there were real characters that had flaws and they didn't get along all yeah. the time. So one of the things that made it good and drew us into the show so it's nice to continue to see that things aren't just all sunshine and rainbows now. Yeah. All sorts of fun activities. The actual fun activities are lessons pretending to be fun. Yes. <laughs> yes, both. Oh, no. Why not both? And the cart full of camping equipment. Yes. Because it's Starlight's first time camping. Yeah. Kind of get the yeah. full camping. And she hates it. She hates it. Okay. Yeah. Some people don't like camping. Mm. That's fine. I don't like camping. I need my computer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where am I supposed to plug this in? The tree? <laughs> yes. Just plug your phone into the tree. <laughs> in tree net. Oh. Oh, they have the birds. Because, of course, two birds. So, yep. I saw that coming. It's like, oh, hey, yeah, Fluttershy comes. Oh, you and your sister fell off the nest? Oh, well, see what's... The sister's going to run and... Yep. Yep. <laughs> Having to shuffle up the tree because they can't fly yet. Oh. We can all the flutter, fake Fluttershy's mocking her. <sighs> wow. Yeah, mean Fluttershy was... Holy crap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> holy crap. Including a tripping rarity when she was running for the Mine! Yep. It's all mine. You're I just say to steal I'm my sorry, stuff. but I'm not. I knew it! I know, you're just trying to steal my stuff. Yeah. It was it was a great episode. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun, but I I feel this could have been more. Yeah, the, I feel like a return of Chrysalis could have been more. It could have been more, but I'm I'm also trying to think how much more could you do in a 22 minute time span? Oh. <gasps> it was smart to save this one for a mid season finale, though. Yeah, even though the cliffhanger right before the hiatus is. So frustrating. Yeah, they're not allowed to do cliffhangers at the end of season, so let's do one in the middle of the season. Yes. <laughs> you can't do cliffhangers not the end of the season. You it's got me the there. Not the season. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's just he's got a problem with the cliffhanger because it's just frustrating. It's not bad. It's just frustrating. I'm just, I just feel like it could have been a bit more than it was. Yeah. And I think it could have been more, and it's supposed to with another part that I'm hoping will happen. Yeah. But there's always that it might not, and that's... Brace yourself for disappointment. Uh, Expect nothing. Yes. Hope for the best. Prepare for the worst. Expect nothing. I expected nothing. I was still disappointed. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. <laughs> yeah. So that's that. I yep. guess not much else we can really say without babbling. Or... Yeah. We we would just start rambling if we kept going. If more rambling. There's a, yeah. There's a bunch of little stuff we could talk. We I mean, we could talk about the episode in minute detail. Although I almost forgot to mention it. This was written by Mike Vogel. Oh right. <laughs> That's important to mention. That is that is important. I do like Vogel's episodes. Well, he's for me. He's been hit and miss. He did write every little thing she does, but she he also wrote uh, the right. heartwarming tale. Yes. But then so... he also wrote the finale of season seven or season six, I should say. Yeah. But then he wrote this. <laughs> so it's like you're uneven. You're a bit uneven. <laughs> Uh, Gotta work on that. Keep going. You got <laughs> lots of potential. Keep going. Yeah. So, yeah, moving on then. Uh, fan content uh, with I no music. No music this week. <laughs> yeah. It's not just been a slow news week. Slow music week. Yeah. If only there was actually slow music. <laughs> well, How yes, there, there was. I, I, there, there's good music, but I yeah. feel like featuring. But anyway, everyone. fan fiction. If you want you again, if you want to check those out, it's uh, pony411.libson.com slash show notes if you want to see the links for all this stuff. Uh, to start off, though, updates. Uh, Second Chances, a redemption story updated with a new chapter. In which... It's the aftermath of yeah. the Arya fight. Yeah, Adagio and Arya. That's right. More of Adagio still trying to figure out her own 
emotions because yep. dumb. <laughs> yep. Uh, all that stuff. This what's this mean when it comes to <laughs> Twilight? Yep. <laughs> what do these emotions mean? I don't understand. What do the numbers mean? <laughs> yeah, so it's more of that stuff and uh, another apology from the author for taking so long. <laughs> yep. <laughs> And then I Don't Need Magic, again, updated with two chapters. And yes, I did read the second chapter from last week. And oh, hey, yeah, they did kiss. <laughs> yep. Power of love. Yeah. And, and this one, let's see, the aftermath, like them kind of talking about what happened in both with Adagio and each other. And each and other. And also, Greg, that dating would be a terrible idea. Let's, well, let's do, do it. it. <laughs> <laughs> and then, And then the other chapter, which it was... I guess a date. Yep. Their first it's a date. date and kind of them talking about some of the stuff in their past that they've missed out on over the years. And also Starlight still being make, still making me suspicious despite the fact we have an established villain. Yes. I'm although, still suspicious. <laughs> although star coming from Starlight's perspective, she has right to be suspicious no. considering I'm sunset. not talking about Starlight being suspicious. I'm being suspicious of Starlight. Well, yes, but Starlight still being suspicious of Twilight, which makes sense because of everything yeah. sunset has told Starlight what yeah. Starlight knows, it would make sense to be a little wary of Twilight. Oh no, she's gonna destroy everything. Yeah, that that's what it feels like. It feels like Starlight's gonna do something, know, and there's gonna be there's gonna be a conflict between that's gonna be, Starlight yep. and Sunset. Also, the author did say now that they're gonna start updating bi-weekly, twice a week, because their their editing's even done too, so it's gonna be faster now. Yay! So one time's there. So anyway, though, I do have a featured fic. It's called a superfluous by a story lover voter, Vodder. Yeah, adding you can an look H at that makes it Vodder. I don't know how to pronounce. Yeah, that. the H throws me. So yeah, it's and it's a um, well, it's a fic about Dash. Yay! And she's uh, in love and unsure how to go about things. Let's right. Just say that. <laughs> it's hard. It's it's really short, so it's hard to talk about it without. Uh. It's it. about 1,800 words, so it's pretty short, and uh, it's just, I featured this pretty much because <laughs> the punchline. The punch, <laughs> yeah, the punchline. <laughs> it just made me laugh. Just, yeah, it's funny. Just, this it's is, Dash funny. goes around and tries to get advice from her friends and doesn't exactly get fruitful advice. So yeah, it's, it's, I thought it was pretty funny. I thought he'd think it was pretty funny because it's a little bit of... <laughs> it's up his alley. It's, it's also Twy Dash, so. Yep. Twy Dash. It's Twy Dash, so. <laughs> it was fun. It, it was fun. I liked it. Yeah. So I'd recommend checking that out. It's a quick read. Mm -hmm. And that brings us to the end of this podcast. The podcast? Yes, this podcast. Just the episode. Show. <laughs> just the episode. Just the show. We're done. It's a little short because not a lot of news and stuff. And. <laughs> Not actually a whole lot of meat, if we're going to be honest with you, about the episode itself, but it was fun in itself. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, if you enjoyed it and you want to listen to past and future episodes, you can go to pony411.libsyn.com. Again, it's spelled L-I-B-S-Y-N. All the episodes are there. You can subscribe to the RSS feed and whatnot. You can also go to youtube.com slash pony411 and like us there and subscribe and hit the notification bell and all that stuff and comment as well if you want. Yep. Notification bell, that's important now. Apparently, YouTube. yeah. If you YouTube's get... dumb in many ways. And YouTube they've really shown how dumb really they are dumb. in the last week or so. Yeah. But, uh, still gotta use them. What else can we do? Yeah. You can also go to iTunes and search for Pony Phone 1 and rate and review and, all, and subscribe as you want. And there's Stitcher, Stitcher.com, uh, the iOS on the iOS or Android apps as well. Search for Pony Phone 1 and subscribe. And there's Google Play, play.google.com slash music and search for Pony Phone 1. And subscribe and all that jazz. And of course, you can go to Ponyville Live if you want uh, and find us there. We're all there along with other episode, other podcasts and uh, radio stations. If you want to go search for those radio stations. And of course, on one of those, Ponyville FM, we air every Tuesday night at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. Along with DJs and music and all that jazz. Yep. This is all that stuff. If you want to contact us in any way, you can do so. Email pony411podcast at gmail.com. Questions, comments, criticisms. What do you think of this uh, mid-season finale and whatnot? Did you yes. like it? Did you not Give like your it? your thoughts. Is Chrysalis your waifu? Chrysalis is everyone's waifu. Whether you like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> uh...
You could also go to our Facebook, facebook.com slash pony one and like us there. All the new episodes will come out, and uh, this week, yeah, sometime later this week, I should be getting the, uh, the photos up from Everfree. Finally. Yeah. Has other stuff to take care of this week. And, of course, there's our Twitter, or at pony one Like us there. Follow us. Retweet us. All that stuff. That's where we usually post things, when we post things. When we post things. It's been things. a slow week. I've been, uh, yeah, I've just been distracted by a lot of stuff this week. And of course, there's our personal Twitters. I'm at Nemesis Prime One, and he's at Alcatraz with an underscore at the end and seven and seven T. I think, oh yeah, I saw Solo. I, I like that a lot. I still need to see it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, although the theater was completely empty. Yeah, I've heard it's not doing well. Yeah, it's doing pretty bad, which is unfortunate. But I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, that's it for our Twitter stuff, and that's it for this episode tune in next time we'll be talking about it um the season so far and yep. including of course our lists gonna do a list we'll do that next week and then we're gonna be going bi-weekly after that so fun times there we're in, gonna be on hiatus mode after yeah, hiatus mode probably not for long though because usually these hiatus last about six or seven weeks during the middle so we'll be back yep. soon don't worry we'll be back to normal soon don't worry about it so until then though please pony responsibly guys See ya. Goodbye.